It's 1st of July here, berry picking time. Go out and picking. We got red raspberries, yellow raspberries, black raspberries, everything wild here. These are mulberries here. So plenty of berries to be picked. Today we're going to be picking a few mulberries and a lot of black raspberries. Got trees here. If you're going to wild, so we have all kinds of mulberries. We have uh, black raspberry bushes. And we have red mixed with yellow raspberries. So again, go out and pick yourself some wild berries. They're very good to eat. I prefer the black raspberries. So that's what we're going to focus on today. Here's some of our wild red raspberry bushes. Of course, the other advantage of getting out and picking, I've already seen a couple of nice deer. Looks like a uh, nice doe down here. Another berry that you can pick, they're not ripe yet, they come later in the year, are black berries. These here are all blackberry bushes. A little different than the red raspberries and the black raspberry bushes. Much tougher cane, a little thicker here. Uh, you can see the two rows I have here just loaded with these. So here in a, another month, we'll have all the blackberries we want. So here in uh, early July, up through uh, up to August, you can pick a lot of wild berries. Now here's your black raspberry bushes. You can see the difference between the blackberries and the black raspberries. Black raspberries, much softer cane. One of the wonderful things about uh, the wilderness in Minnesota is that just a short walk you can come across black raspberries. They're just starting to turn black. These are some of my favorite raspberries as they're a lot sweeter than the red. And they're good for jams and black raspberry pies. And we're a few days yet away from a full harvest. Now for blueberries. Blueberries come end of July, August. These here are tame blueberry bushes. You can grow these in your garden very easily. You get this huge bush here. But we will be going up to the lake cabin, doing a lot of fishing. And there, up by Duluth, Superior, you can also go Boundary Waters, Upper Michigan, and you will get blueberry bushes. They will not be this tall. Uh, they will be very low to the ground, but you can get plenty of blueberries. Again, that's August time frame. Here are some wild yellow raspberries. You ask, how do you get yellow raspberries in the wild? Well, somebody grew them in the garden, and the birds came, ate some of those, and as they went out to the wild berry areas, their droppings had seeds in them, and those plants take over and grow yellow raspberries. So we get a mixture back here of black, red, and yellow. Here we have a patch of red raspberries. Nice patch. And you'll see here the black ones we're finding were just a little early. Right now it's July 3rd. About another week, these black ones will really turn on where the reds have been out for a while. They're in full uh, production here. So there's plenty of those. Yellow ones are, are out. Uh, those will bear twice. And of course, the blackberries were about a month away. Now another berry we plant in the garden is the strawberry. Strawberry is very easy to grow, keep into rows. If you got the, uh, the land, you can do long patches. I go with the June strawberry. So these are done now, being 1st of July. And what you do, they will run these runners off and they will have these daughter plants. You just take these daughter plants, they're trying to root, and you put those in the ground and keep them in the rows you want. So very easy to grow strawberries. Again, we like June uh, bearers because we'll pick everything we want in June. We'll freeze that up and then that allows us to go up to the lake home, do a lot more fishing 
and of course get into the wild berries that we like to pick. Now if you don't have the, uh, the land to do uh, strawberry patches, then you can go vertically. You build it up in boxes. I'd go with everbears. That way they're producing throughout the, uh, the summer season and you can pick as you want them. Uh, you can also grow a lot of berries that way. The wild ones are very small. We've got plenty of wild ones, but uh, you want to grow your own strawberries.